what shall we look into specifically? Now, a couple... Now, we've gone to the radios a little bit, but the two I would specifically like to take a look at. Uh, the main one is a bit more into this smoke pouch, because this is, like I said, because this is a very useful pouch for all sorts of things. Um, just highlight a couple of features of it. Now, the first few features that are generic to all the Warrior kit is the quality of the build. It's all 1000 denier Kajura, it's got the IRR properties. Um, this is in multi cam and obviously it's the official crazy stuff. They don't do any um, yeah. replicate. But there's no copying or un illegal sort of things. All the, um, the webbing itself is it's all mill spec. It's as good as you're ever going to need. Stitching doubled up along there, as you can see. The straps themselves, there is actually. Well, there's, there's two layers of uh, molly webbing that make up that strap. So it's fairly, fairly stiff. Um, the press studs, they are, I don't know what, they're not sort of a specific brand, but they're, they're good quality metal. They are not going um, to break on you and once once they're secured. They are fairly solid. Obviously, and they, they can be against your body. They're not, they don't often come undone. I can't, you know, but these ones, good quality. What else? What else? What else? The elastic is very tough. It's very thick elastic um, for the pouches that they do put elastic on. Um, it's handy to have. The buckles are, I'm pretty sure they're ITW, not 100%, but either way, they're bloody tough. Um, well made. They've all got all the right sort of properties that you'd look for. Got the inside here. I've highlighted this black stuff on a couple of the other videos. It's a non slip material, pretty much waterproof as well. You can see there, sort of all that extra stitching on that centre piece there. Lots of, um, lots of extra. And obviously, it runs all the way down the back of that as well, Just keeping everything secure in place. Very handy feature about this particular pouch. Whatever you put inside it, and as I said, you fit a lot of things inside. What you've got is just a bit of webbing that pushes down the side of it, and it sits out the front there when it's inside. So whenever you want to retrieve what's inside here. If you've got gloves on, or if you, you know, if you're under stress, or whatever it might be, your hands are slippery or sandy, or the the item's small and it's right down inside and you can't get to it. Grab on this. As it pulls out, it'll pull the item out. You need to. It'll be right there. You just grab it. Very, very handy. And yet, all it is is a sewn-in piece of webbing, and that can make all the difference. You know, you might have a first aid bit of kit in there. You might have a field dressing. Um, you know, if you're out in Afghan with one of these, and um, just that couple of seconds, you know, I don't want to be too melodramatic about these things, but sometimes, obviously not in airsoft, which is what this channel is mainly about, but these this brand isn't aimed at airsoft, um, and little things like that can make all the difference. You might have ammo in there, or as I say, medical kit, all sorts of things. Could, or if you are in an airsoft game. It could make the difference between winning and losing. You know, you might not be in a you know in a close firefight, and you could, you need some BBs or you need a smoke grenade for some cover in there. Bam! It's a lot easier to get to. And obviously, these pouches do last forever. <laughs> so yeah. Onto the 338 mag pouch. Now I've not actually looked over these one of these before. Obviously, the main closure. I've got a um, quick release buckle on the front here. It doesn't actually have Velcro on it, but if you've got the buckles, you don't really need the Velcro. You, you need either one or the other. You get a lot of pouches like that smoke has the Velcro, which can be silenced or um, covered. Um, but it's got the buckles as well, which is it's belt and braces, but kind of belt and braces, and then another belt and an extra pair of suspenders or whatever. It's a bit over the top, really. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll say this is for the... Uh, the magazines for various accurate precision rifles. Fully lined in the uh, NSR, it's called non-slip coating. As with all the other pouches, so this is the multi-cam, you've got your official cray thingy there. Lots of uh, lots of extra stitching going on, as you can see on that piece there. Again, down the centre there. It's all very, very well done. All the top quality materials. 
inside. There's not actually dividers or anything in there, but the, um, for real, this would be a, you'd only fit one mag for the Arctic Warfare rifle in question inside of that. Um, the KJW rifle that I'll be putting the mags, you fit two in there. I may pad it out a bit, just got them rattling around, but for uh, all US off snipers out there, or designated marksmen, if you're using using an airsoft bolt action rifle that there aren't many molly pouches out there that are suitable for those magazines um, but this would hold two of them quite nicely it's not fast to reload from because I'm going to undo the clip and redo it every time but it is the right sort of shape and if you you know if you're sort of in a sniping kind of role you don't need you don't need to be really loading that fast probably anyway you shouldn't need to so that's quite a good choice And uh, I think that is it for now. Yes. Any um, any questions anyone has about any of the pouches or if you want any more details, feel free to post in the comments. Uh, I'll happily answer them. As always, I I'll try and do my best. Um, can't really can't recommend the gear highly enough. It is it is top quality and it has served a lot of our guys very well in Afghan and Iraq as I mentioned. So I shall put UK Tacticals uh, I shall put their link into the com the uh, description. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it for this one guys. Thanks for um, everyone subscribing. Uh, that's much appreciated. Uh, well, getting along quite nicely now. And, and uh, yeah I shall See you all at the next unboxing or whatever random view I uh, decide to do next. Cheers, guys.